What you guys got another video here for you now if you're a content creator or you create podcasts or something like that then you're going to know that having the perfect audio is essential to your audience who is listening to you now occasionally uh, you end up with issues like popping or pops in your audio and this is when you say peas i.e p add a pickle pepper and that will normally create popping in your audio if you are one too close to the microphone two you don't have a pop filter three uh, you have the gain up too high and you're close to your microphone or you're just not using a very good high quality uh, uh, unit uh, sort of audio unit that you've got there so how do we go about removing those if it's been an accident that you've actually done by rushing or you've got too close to your audio we well, you can use audacity and audacity has been around for a long time it's a free piece of software that you can use to do uh, this particular type of job for you and uh, it works pretty well so what we're going to do is take a look at how we can remove uh, the popping from our audio now it's not um, perfect and you shouldn't be using this method as a, a regular a regular thing you should be uh, talking about uh, getting yourself a better audio setup and also getting a uh, proper pop filter and stuff like that to eradicate this problem so let's go ahead and look at our audio when you look at it here you can't really see any pops in here and that's because you're looking at it and as it is right now so let's go ahead and play it but you guys got another product review sent over by Goobangdoo. This is the Abox T22 2000 Lumens LED Mini Projector. This is an upgrade from the T20. So straight away you can see the P projector and product uh, product review and it's starting to pop. And it's hitting the uh, top bar here. Now to zoom in, uh, we're going to be fixing this by zooming in here. So let's go ahead and uh, click on the actual zoom tool and zoom right in. And this will show us the actual uh, bars here, the vocal bars you can see here, a little bit more clearer. And uh, you can see there's a big space, and uh, straight away there is this big squiggly line. And that is normally a pop, uh, and that's normally what causes that big uh, change in audio. So let me just show you what I mean here. So I'm going to go back a bit so we can see, and I'm just going to highlight this area now watch the meter at the top you can see that's a real big pop and here that's okay it's nice and clear but this is more of a pop uh, area so how do we go about fixing these and you'll see these all the way through your audio like here and that's because you've got too close to the microphone. So how can we fix those? So what we're going to do, going to go back to the beginning, and uh, we're going to go back to here, and I'm going to add in a feature that will allow me to remove this. Now again, as I said before, you don't want to be using this all the time because it is quite destructive to audio, and the more effects that you put into your audio, you're taking away from the original sample, so you don't want to do too much of this. So what we're going to do here is go into equalization and uh, we're going to go into equal, uh, graphic EQ, which is graphic equalizer. And uh, we're going to start off on unnamed here. And uh, of course, we're going to be on a flattened uh, line. Now, what you need to do is concentrate on the first 100 hertz, which is up to here. So first off, we're going to pull these right the way down. And these are going to draw out all the uh, bass in, in the actual audio itself. And you can see the 100 hertz is here. So we're going to pull this right down as well. So next up, uh, what we're going to do is concentrate on the 100 hertz to 400 hertz area, uh, which is up to here. And we need to make some steps here all the way up to 400 hertz. So we're just going to go ahead and do that now like so. And there we have... Uh, last one and you can see we have uh, some steps here now going up and look at the curve here itself it's a nice little curve here and what that's going to do is remove any sort of bass from there as well which is the big bassy pop that you're going to have in your audio now we need to save this so we can use this all the time because we don't want to keep setting this up every time so we're going to rename this and call it say pop remover 
You can call yours whatever you like. I'm just going to call mine a pop remover. And there we are right there. So now if when I click OK here, it's going to put that all onto the actual audio and we don't want to do that. So you can see it's just done it right across the board there and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to undo that equalization there. That's it. We've gone back to normal, but we still have our setup there. So what I need to do here now is highlight the area that's causing the issue and go into effect and then go into equalization and you should see your pop remover here. Now, if we click OK here, let me just show you. If I move it to the side, click OK, you'll see this go flat. There you go. And uh, that may not be quite good enough for what you want. So you may want to just flatten that out a bit more. Uh, so it doesn't cause an issue there we go and now if we highlight this area you can see it's not going into the red so when you play that it's not going to suddenly peak and go right up to the top now what you need to do is scroll through all your audio uh, files and uh, go right to the areas that show up the most like this area here this is a definite peak and uh, we don't want that in our audio because obviously that's going to be a, a loud pop in sound in our audio. So we're just going to flatten that out like so. So highlight the area that's causing the issue, just like so. And I'm rushing here a bit, but you can see it's going to level those out. So let's just go ahead and uh, do this one more time here. And you need to follow this all the way through the audio okay now if you get a little squiggly line you may want to just clear that up a little bit more again just to make sure it's flat like so okay so you've got a nice clean flat line there because you don't want any sort of uh, pop at all now these are okay but you want, might want to check them just in case that's okay and uh, you don't want to go too crazy on it I mean but what you're looking for is this long squiggly line like so these are fine so this double peak here right to the end here so it's because it's gone below as well so we're just gonna oh, we don't want to do noise reduction we want to do equalization there we go and I can see here again what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get this little area here because I don't like the look of that there we go and uh, let's just have a sound sample <coughs> Again, you can see here this area has just got a bit of a noise. There we go. So just go through and uh, look at your audio files until you find all the, the troublesome areas. Okay, And there will be a lot of them if you've got too close. Like this is a typical pop. So we want to get rid of that. Done and uh, work your way through okay and once you've done that you can then clean up your audio and put a bit of bass on if you wish but remember the too much bass adding too much bass to this popped area will cause a big massive rise in the peaks okay so just make sure you clean this right up okay so I've cleaned the audio up now and uh, there is no more pops in there hopefully and uh, if you've got any uh, sort of areas like this which you want to clean up afterwards you can see there's a bit of a background noise there you want to uh, obviously do noise reduction I'm going to get a profile on that and then we're going to clean this up and uh, we're going to quickly clean this area up so we don't have none of that background noise and uh, you can cut this out afterwards but this is going to go right across the audio so let's have a listen to what we've got now to see whether the pops have disappeared but you guys got another product review sent over by Goo Bang Do. This is the A Box T22 2000 Lumens LED Mini Projector. This is an upgrade. You can see that projector and and uh, product is a the product has a slight bit in it, but not as much as it was. Projector has now disappeared, and we could work on that a little bit more. But you can see that that's eradicated those pops, and that's basically how you can uh, fix up your audio files by using Audacity and remove any pops or popping in your audio. I hope this has been helpful to you guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching and I'll also see you again for another video. Bye for now.
Thank you.